Hi, this is Trey Pastor. I'm going to do a reaction to Stargirl Season 2, Episode 3. Okay, I'm loving this uh, new season so far. Can't wait to see what this episode entails, so let's get right to it. Okay, let me put my headphones in. Okay, here we go right now. Go. <laughs> Johnny, what are you doing down here? Oh, they finally get everybody back together, take on the ISA. They pinch me. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I, I'm not even that. I'm the JSA charity case. Uh. At, at, on paper, Thunderbolt is more powerful than Green Lantern, Flash, all of them combined. Oh. Wow, okay. They got Solomon Grundy. You need backup, you got him. Sorry, Peg, just John. Uh, the Wildcat, I mean, you know, we're talking about the entire ISA now, right? Members only, Sylvester insisted. Thanks, Strangey. Hey, when, when I get back, we'll have that eggnog, okay? Mm. Uh, that's too stripey. What is that? Is that Mike? Yep, yeah, Mike. Oh, man. Devin, Lutz, Marky. It's a little early, don't you think? Uh, I'd say you're learning just to bully me. To get uh, paid. Paper boy. <laughs> Why well, need the money? A brain transplant? Mm. All right. It's gonna cost you extra, Dugan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. See, uh, never count your winnings before you collect, okay, Court? Mm. The Shade has no idea who he's up against. First of all, he's obviously very dangerous. So I think you should definitely bring Stripe. Mom, we need the element of surprise. Stripes is subtle as a tank. Oh, okay, listen. Man. Here's the deal. No oh. one's gonna make a move until we have a plan that everyone agrees with. Okay? Okay. Hey, you doing JSA stuff? <clears throat> yep. Ah, the shade. <laughs> Who's this creep? Somebody's butt we're gonna kick. Carefully. <laughs> we're gonna do it very, very carefully. I'm on my route right now. Don't you hear the dog? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Another customer? I, I got plenty, Mr. Plumkiss. Please, just give it that you can. It'll be in better hands. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, fine, fine. I'll, I'll take it. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, I, I got it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, for so cool. So cool. Oh, yeah. I'm your new best friend, <laughs> and you don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on is that you, Mike Dugan, are now in control of me, <laughs> the Thunderbolt! <laughs> the Thunderbolt? As in Johnny Thunder and the Thunderbolt. So cool. In my <laughs> native homeland of Bodnesia. By the what? It's not on the map anymore. Thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> so cool means set free the all-powerful force upon the earth of the magical and awe-inspiring Thunderbolt! <laughs> I meant in a class. Rule number one, hmm. you gotta be specific. Ah. Oh my gosh, you look so silly. <laughs> I love it when people do that. Uh oh. oh human, three o'clock. It's never a good thing when other people see me. Oh, Reactions range from mild amusement to sheer panic. Hmm. Sent one guy to the ER, heart attack. Yeah. He recovered. I think. I don't know. He was old. He ah. probably didn't have much time anyway. <laughs> ah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what? You're taller. <laughs> you gotta be. Specific. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I wish my body was taller. Uh, uh, sorry. 
can't wish for the same thing twice and be happy about that in this case. Wishes about body transformation never go well. Hey, and so was Johnny Thunder, my <laughs> previous master. <laughs> and you are my new one. All right. Super, so cool. You're late, Rick. <laughs> of course I was right. There's a wolf in Blue Valley. He's called the Shade, the last member of the Injustice Society. The Shade worked with the ISA in the past, but he quit a while back. I don't know what he's up to now, but he's going by the name Richard Swift. Mm. He can manipulate them and travel through darkness. Mm. So why is he in Blue Valley? To finish what the ISA started? I don't think so, Beth. He had a falling out with him after he helped them defeat the JSA, but... Uh, I know he's bad news. Mm. I watched him kill Dr. Midnight. Oh. Get out! Oh. Dr. Midnight's the only one of the JSA that we haven't got justice for. Mm. We need to. Mm. First things first, we need to find out where the shade is hiding. Yes! <laughs> so, so, so we knock out this shadowy freak. Mm. And then what, Mr. Degan? I don't know yet. No. Nope. Looking through all the stuff. Giant playing card. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, it's only me. I hope I didn't scare you. Well, yeah, a <laughs> little bit. Please forgive me. What are you doing here, Mr. Swift? Yes, well, uh, your colleague, um, Charlotte, mm. she told me where you were looking into William Zarek's collection, and I thought, well, why don't we have a little treasure hunt together? Wouldn't that be thrilling? Oh, well, and here I am. Is there anything in particular you're looking for? Oh, I'll know it when I see it. <laughs> Is uh, this what you're looking for? <laughs> I believe he drops it. Find something. Uh, do you mind if I if I keep this? It's it's just an empty box. Hmm? I don't really think I can let you. It's part of the. Zarek inventory. And there was I, thinking we were getting on so famously. Oh, man. I really must insist. Oh, leave. Oh, boy. Got that pat now. Care to answer? Yikes. Uh, well, this conquistador named Cortez, <laughs> sounds like a total jerk, uh. conquered the Aztecs. So that was bad enough, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the Europeans brought over the super plague. So between them both, the Aztecs didn't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. I promise. Okay. How did you know all of that? Turns out, if you actually read the book, history's not that hard. Ah. Why should I? Because we'll crush him if you don't. Mm. Now hand him over. Mm. Yeah, and none of that shortbread stuff. Yeah. Little <laughs> girl, it's worse than usual. Gonna I'm not going to give you free cookies. Give us free cookies? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Come on, let's go, let's go. There you go. What is this? Oh, okay, that's, that's, that's good. You can, you can stop now. Well, I can't until they do. Ah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> but 
a crime. Don't worry, we're gonna figure this out. Mike? <laughs> Guess who's the newest member of the Justice Society of America? Mm, really? Me. Ah, she mean us! <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Well, you should have told me everything about it in the first place. <laughs> you know, been specific. Ah. You gotta be real specific with the wishing, let me tell you. No, Pat. Mike, no more wishes. But, Mr. Dugan, mm. if this genie really grants wishes, maybe you could fix the goggles? <laughs> I, uh, I think he can hear you. Also, what's this got to do with monkeys? <laughs> okay, give me the pen. No. Now. You're saying I can't handle it. Nobody can. Thank you. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> uh. Guess he likes hanging with the boss. Call him out here, right now. I want to speak to the Thunderbolt alone. <laughs> if Starman had seen it, I'm sure he would have promoted you from sidekick to like a senior sidekick or, yeah. you know, he would have been happy. Yeah, well, it, it's not a toy. So there's the new JSA now, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know how dangerous this life can be and even with power like yours. You know how it works. I, I can only pick someone like me to be partners with. Mm. Someone who feels completely and utterly alone. Mm. That's really how he feels? Mm. Right now? Yeah. Hey. So did you guys have a vote yet? Am I in the JSA or do I have to go through mm. some hazing first? There's no hazing. Oh. Great. So I'm in, right? All the bad guys will be able to take down. Mm. All the people will be able to save. You and me together, brother and sister. Yeah, that sounds great. Really, but... The Thunderbolt picked me. So I'm like you. I was meant to be a superhero. It's my destiny. Pat, we've come to a decision. Hey, this is not a group discussion, but okay? Mike deserves to be in the JSA. We voted. Just call me Mikey Thunder. Let me handle this. <laughs> also, that's terrible. And, and Mike helped. He stopped Icicle, if you remember. Yeah, I try to not think about it. <laughs> we need to find the shade. And Mike and the Thunderbolt are our best chance of doing that right now. She rests my case. Uh, and I need all your help. Not to be confused with a lamp or a window shade, uh, but the last known member of the Injustice Society of America. Hey, that's what Hiding somewhere in Blue Valley, Nebraska, 68060, USA. <laughs> that's real specific. Thanks, Dad. Let's, Let's go. go. Whoa, whoa. Hmm. You're staying here. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that was the deal, remember? You agreed to it. And it's safer that way for everyone. No, 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 no. Come on, man. Don't bench me now. I... I'm sorry, Mike. That's just the way it is. Oh, boy. Uh... Mikey Thunder. Yep. Ryan the Pine. Yep. Now I know why you're going to turn to Cindy. <laughs> okay. Who are the proper authorities? And what device? Mm -hmm. Tanning bed, actually, your oh. old one that's out in the garage. Uh. Are you serious? Yeah. What's Mike gonna do? Uh, he'll be down at the pit stop waiting for the play-by-play. -play. There we are. Approved? Yeah. Um, your mother thinks the plan's acceptable. Then let's go get this jerk. For yep. Chuck. Yep. We'll restrain him, then imprison him. Yep. There you go. Anything foolish, Mike. <laughs> okay, so what's the deal? Mm. Blue Valley declared this a historic home after the Xerx departed. Mm -hmm. It'll be historic 
once I get my hands on the shade. Uh. What does that even mean? <laughs> Simply. Uh, I hope I have enough biscuits. <laughs> Do go. It took me a moment to place the name in the diner. By the way, I knew that was a 1967 Jag, right? You know that? Well, of course I do, Stripes. Uh. Oh, I see. Same sidekick. Different star-spangled kid. You oh. murdered Dr. Midnight. Mm. You don't deserve the genteel approach. Well, my dear young lady... <laughs> And I mean this in the nicest possible way. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my. Now, Sid. Yeah. Don't you teach these children any manners, <laughs> Stripesy? So, I'm just going to ask you again, Shade. Hmm. Why are you here? We won't let you hurt our town. Yeah. Though, seeing the way your generation's going, I expect you'll end humanity for good. Okay, just because you gave up and only looked out for yourself doesn't mean we're ever going to. Why are you here? Young lady, I'm not being coy. Oh, it's just better that none of you know. Oh. Now please, try the tea. I wish you'd zap the villain known as Quote the Shade Uncle. Not to be confused with a lamp or window shade. Oh, as you oh, wish, Mike. my friend. Oh, God, Mike. help you guys but you know i blew it you did look up bicycles in the middle of the road icing up and bam hmm. he was an ice cubes before i even knew it it was an accident yeah well yeah yeah i guess it was <sighs> okay I know I should have listened, but mm -hmm. I... you didn't. <laughs> I didn't either in the beginning, Courtney. Mm -hmm. This is the beginning for Mike, Mom. Mm. Thought this pen was my ticket into the JSA, but now I kind of just wish it was in better hands. Oh! Thunderbolts? Oh. Jackie, Mom wants you to take out the trash. <laughs> but I got a high score. On your one player game? Mm. Get some friends that aren't Pac Man and Luigi. What everyone does. You're a loser. Oh, shut up. I am a loser. Yoohoo! Haha. <laughs> Jackie ain't fun. Where did you come from? <laughs> the Thunderbolt told me that he chose Mike because Mike felt so alone. I mean, that's on all of us if it's true. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the kid, he just wants to be a part of the team. Eclipse of. A diamond? Yeah, it said costume jewelry on it. Maybe a magic prop. It was black. There's no prop, Barb. Yeah. That's the black diamond. <sighs> Still not working. 
It's okay. We'll get Chuck back. Mm. No. <laughs> it's useless, Rick. Mm. I'm never getting Chuck back. Mm. Pretend I'm Chuck. There you go. I found some papers. Okay. Well, papers are just papers. Mm. You should talk to them. Exactly. Exactly. Hello? Chuck! Sorry. Chuck? <laughs> Chuck! Mm. Chuck, I can hear you. It's me. It's Beth. You have to listen. Whoever you are, you need to know. What? You're in danger. Eclipse over. He said we're in danger. He said Eclipso's here. Uh oh. That's a Cindy head. He's gonna kill those children. Oh boy. Unless you stop him. Okay. <laughs> that was good. Uh, a lot to unpack in that episode. Uh, first, Mikey. Me. <laughs> uh, mean the thunderbolt okay and we got that nice little flashback uh to the past where pat you know was put on the side by you know Starman. so he you know that whole feeling of you know being a sidekick and being left out of the main mission which was kind of the theme of this episode with mike okay so we got to see that with pat and we got to actually meet two members of the uh original justice society uh johnny thunder and um and then wildcat okay that that was good, but you felt for Pat in that moment, just like you know you felt for Mike in this episode too, with him feeling, you know, left out like a loser and stuff, and that's why the pen activated for him, okay. Except you know he didn't stick to the plan, and I know Pat's trying to be protective of him, but it's like Courtney was saying, you gotta kind of let him in, but you gotta let him be involved in a way. I understand Pat being cautious because you know again you're going up against, and, and look how with the shade he just what he did to them, <laughs> and like without even getting up out of the seat. He, he basically wiped out the justices, the new Justice Society without even standing up, okay? It's, which just shows you, okay, Pat has reason to be concerned, and I would be very cautious about letting Mike, but you, what you have to do, Pat, is uh, just include him in the plan so that way he he's, he's he feels like he's a part of it. But you don't have to let him get, actually, you know, but let him feel like he's a part of it, okay? Just so, you know, he doesn't feel like, I, th I think they're doing, they're laying the seeds for, when Cindy comes around and tries to recruit him, and he's going to be, you know, acceptable to that, he's because he's going to feel low down and and not as, as a member of Justice Society, and then join the Injustice Society. She may even use a clip to turn him, to turn Mike to make Mike go heel, which you can see coming from a mile away. But that's what uh, Shade, the Shade was there. He was there to get a clip so I think he was, I, th I think he's actually going to wind up saving the kids because you see what he said at the end that 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 Eclipso is going to kill those kids, right? Which means he, he came there looking to get a, a clip so and probably put him back wherever he he belongs and banish him whatever he has to go because Cindy's going to try to recruit and that's probably she probably going to use a clip so to recruit those uh members for her new injustice society recruiting to along with Mike so Pat has reason to be concerned and and like I said uh Mike just grew up because they were getting ready to sit down and maybe if, I don't know if he would have ever told him his plan really which is to but you know Mike came in there and started it with the Thunderbolt, and that just made everything go sideways. And you still see Yolanda having headaches now about the brainwave whole situation. And I think Eclipso might feast on her because she's, you know, she has that get guilt over killing brainwave. And I think if, if Eclipso's around, he's going to make her, uh, he might even, yeah, he might try to tap into her, you know, because she's feeling vulnerable and, and guilty about killing brainwave last season. So that's another thing to watch for with Yolanda and stuff. And now I'm glad, see, we got Chuck to warn. He's not totally back now, but he did warn uh, uh, Beth about Eclipso and stuff. And, and Pat knows from that conversation he had with uh, a Barber that uh, Eclipso is pretty dangerous. He's the black, the black diamond. That's what the thing is missing. So I wonder if Pat's going to put it together that, that that's what he's looking for. And somebody else must have tucked it because that's why he came back. You know, it should follow logically that Pat would think, wait a minute, he came there again looking for that, and it's not there, and he took an empty box, which means Eclipso is free somewhere around there, so I think hopefully Pat puts that together, 
and you know they can be prepared because I don't know how they're going to fight it off a clip so this team and I'm definitely interested in seeing how Cindy recruits which I think they'll show her recruiting the new Injustice Society kid version <laughs> okay I'm just seeing hey, how that plays out okay but uh oof. I did feel for uh, I felt for Mike this episode hopefully like I said he doesn't to go totally heal <laughs> okay and, and hopefully Pat recognizes that you got to include him in the stuff that's going on don't completely box him out of it because then he's going to feel vulnerable and he'll be susceptible to Cindy's recruiting okay and we got to see Jakeem Thunder uh, which is I know he's in the comic books so now at least we'll get to see him and hopefully he'll show up when the Justice Society needs him okay and like I say he shows up for guys that feeling alone and lonely and we see from that little bit of interaction he had you know Jakeem had with his sister there that you know he feels you know you know, like he has no friends, and although I think Mike should be his friend, I don't know if Mike or Mike is maybe just one of the paper boys and they know each other that way. But he's basically you see him in a room playing a one player game by himself, he's not even online playing with other people, or so you know, he feels lonely and left out. So, of course, Johnny Thunder, uh, the Thunderbolt will uh, hopefully he'll, he'll be better at it with uh, when we see him because I know they'll return later down the line, probably when the Justice Society needs him, and hopefully he'll have mastered. You know the just you know the, the thunderbolt by then, which would be cool to watch and see. Anyway, let me know what you think of this episode, uh, uh, Summer School Part Three. Uh, 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 let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to leave the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this episode. What do you, th do you think? I think ultimately the shade, of course, is is good. He's more like an anti-hero, I think, and he's gonna show up probably when the Justice Society needs him and help capture Eclipso. Okay, that's my theories on that. Let me know what you think about that. And uh, feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, I have a link to my other channel, Paul Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. Also, I have a link down there to my patron channel. And I want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear in this video somewhere. I want to say thank you to him for supporting me. And again, my patron's only $5 a month. Tons of content on there. Tons of TV show reactions. The Mandalorian Season 2. The Boys Season 2. Uh, um, WandaVision. Loki. Uh, Snyder Cut for four parts. Uh, Superman and Lois on there uh, and Titans on there season 3 so I have tons of content on there follow the link below if you want to join if you want you can see all the content that's on there and if you feel like joining this uh, again link is below and this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care